Well, one of the hardest hit industries will be one of the first to open back up under the governor's reopening plan. Starting next Thursday, residential construction will be again up and running. It's certainly welcome news for that industry, but as Jason Colthorpe reports, businesses haven't just lost money, they've lost time. For all the workers in the residential construction business who rely on the non winter months to get jobs done, the last seven weeks have been excruciating. But come May 7th, developments like this one here in Commerce Township are going to surge back to life. Right now I'm running seven to eight crews. So as soon as I can get materials on, on site and get the holes dug and carpenters are ready to go to work. In eight days, the quiet of quarantine will be replaced by the banging of hammers and roars from table saws, and it'll be music to Mike Esper's ears. Um, we've got 30 people that want quotes between now and next Friday. That's how much our phones have been ringing. His company, MGE Carpentry, builds custom decks. All my employees have been calling every day. You know, how soon? How, when can we go back to work? Can we do anything? You know, when is this, uh, we're tired of being home. But they can't do anything without building permits. Our construction is nonstop. That's where Commerce Township Supervisor Dave Scott comes in. With so many projects about to start and restart, he's making sure builders have everything they need. Private industry is going to jump right back into the saddle. The township's going to jump right back into the saddle. And our inspectors, uh, electrical, plumbing, and construction, they're going to be booming. They're just going to be wearing masks and gloves. He may have lost two months, but Esper at least knows he specializes in what might end up being the only legal vacation spot for a while. If it's an old deck. They want it rebuilt because they know that's where they're going to be all summer. Even though with the virus being lifted, they're really not going to be traveling too much. Not every business can calculate exactly what losing two months of the construction season will mean for their business, but it's bad. And Esper says he's going to need a very mild winter to replace that or to even come close. In Commerce Township, Jason Colthorpe, Local 4.